Right, back on again. Basically, I'm going up instead of down. The babbling brook is still babbling. The ferns are getting browner. And I've got to go uphill again. This will be the last climb, by the way. This will be the last climb. It's, it's a steady climb. I mean, it goes up. You get a little bit at the end. That's a bit strenuous. But if you go walking over here, it's always hilly. You're always going to do hills and down and up all the time. It's good for your legs. Strengthens them. Ah, <sighs> no dear. I'm in the wrong. I've been in the wrong places for the deer today, and you know, they keep away from the main tracks until late in the evening. And they come down for water. So on the ninth on John Lennon's birthday, he would have been 81, born in 1940, a Liverpool lad, and. Um, Tragically murdered when he was only 40. He was a genius in music. And he was, had his life snatched from him. <sighs> Terrible. <sighs> but it's his birthday today. <sighs> My generation still remember him anyway. <sighs> we grew up with the music of the Beatles. It's still liked. You do hear the old song being played. And of course there's always been other people's interpretation of it when they do it. Oh. Yeah, that having to go back for the stick actually winded me a bit. Because it made me a bit anxious. I don't want to leave the stick behind, to be quite honest. I know I've got other sticks. I didn't want to leave it behind. Georgia, Jolene, they were new. I don't know if this is the new one, but she gave me two new sticks for Christmas, Jolene did. And uh, I wouldn't want to lose them. I've lost one once before, forgetting it. Yeah. Another time I thought I lost is a bit of it. Part of the pole fell out, so you should always make sure you screw your poles in. Um, yeah, yeah, I had lost one. The original ones they got me, I lost one of them. Because I rarely use two poles at the same time. Re I, well, I don't. Because I've got the camera in one hand. When I'm on the contact, so I do find the stick is useful, actually. Especially going across streams and going down hills. But uh, it's best to keep on the tracks, really, because um, there are ticks about. And I think my last big outbreak was caught up here, going off track too much. Even though it was really beautiful. I'm going to stop at some point to have a drink of my water, my Ribena. Fizzy Ribena. It's new apparently. But I have calmed down a bit now and I'm just, I just want to enjoy this because I, th I, I almost dream about Holford. I come here a lot for years in my dreams and my thoughts. You could probably walk me down here blindfolded, to tell you the truth. And some of these trees have known me since I could walk. But when we were kids, we didn't get explore like I do now, no. I had to wait till I retired before I could do it properly. No, we mainly kept to the coombs and the springs. We really wandered off. I can remember the first time we did venture was when I had um, me and my ex and Dave, Duncan, 
I think it was Georgia. I, don't you, I can't remember Jolene being there on that, one of the occasions. She must have been, though. Yeah, we came up this way. I brought Georgia up. Georgia used to like coming out. And I used to um, always do her jam sandwiches and cheese sandwiches, little tiny ones. She had to stop a lot for food and drink. And she would do it. But as long as I had lots of little nibbles for her. Oh, I miss, I miss that. I'm not a little girl. She was lovely. She still is. But there's a little person. She was so sweet. She was so sweet. So angelic. She was so interested in everything. You know? She never used to play me up. She was always wanted to go on the tour, the nature trail or learn about things. Duncan and Jolene used to mess about a lot. They were always like it. I don't know why. They had a real sense of humour. Anyway, that's enough of my kids. They're all grown up now. My youngest one will be 40 in about three months time. Then it'll be the one time that all my four children are in their 40s for the next couple of years. They'll all be in their 40s. Yeah, they're catching me up, aren't they? Catching me up. Having to face life's trials though. It's hard. Can be hard. But they do try to enjoy themselves as well, I know that. They like their music. They like their takeaways. Oh, look at that. Where's that come from? It looks like one of the cow pack of one of those big cows. Imagine I get up here and all the cows are around the waterhole. Because it has been known. I had to do a diversion once before. Because that massive herd were up here. It wasn't when I was coming up this way. Oh, I'm slow now. Like I said, I had, um, I rushed to get back, go back to get the stick, you see. And it's taking the wind out myself before someone picked it up. Hi, old trees. It's Sheila again. How you doing? You still there? We've sat on that log, me and Georgia. It's been there for years. Got a sandwich. You won't find me sitting down many places. Not anymore, not after getting limes. It's even risky putting your bag down. Right, time to take photos, folks, and have a drink. Over and out. Over and out. Another video. You're being spoiled, everyone. Of course, with the darker afternoons and all that, that is another reason why I won't be coming out here quite as much during the winter months. If I do, it'll be very short walk. Literally along the top there, down to Holford and back, or round the other way. Um, or doing some more exploring over Picknoller way. There are other things to do. I haven't had a day trip to my head for ages. There's a church I've always wanted to do there. Right, out into the light, everyone. Here we go. Quite bright. Quite bright. It's all uphill now, but it gets steeper when we go up a bit further. As we go up and round. And then that's it. No more hills. But it's a lovely afternoon, isn't it? It feels about three half past. But I'm not going to look till we get to the pole. Uh. 
Basically, I can't go any faster, so what's the point of worrying myself about what time it is? So much different going down here, mine. Yeah. A lot different going down. It's nice to see when all the heather's faded and the gorse. The ferns are still looking lush green. They'll suddenly go down. And believe it or not, once they die down, you can see the bare land. So it's amazing how the when they you think you're never gonna be covered up the land. But they do fade. I mean some on the mendips they often harvest the bracken for food stuff. I think it's for food. Yeah, I don't often do this upward one. I don't often do it going up. It's always because when I've been out walking on the hills, this has always been the way back. This is the end of the day when I've been going down here. And I've liked doing it. I like doing it. A bit not a coom might become that, but on days like today, because I lost 20 minutes, it could be I'm going to go over the top, over the top of Wecom Hill. I don't know if it's any quicker. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet either. I'm just making the most of today, even if I am later at home than usual. Even if I do have to get a later bus, a later train. Doesn't matter. When I've had old Bert, I've been out here at 8 o'clock at night. At the moment, there are buses and trains that will fit. At the moment. I've had a hell of a walk, you know. I'm really exploring earlier on down Paradise Coombe. Or up it. Yeah, that was good. I thought I said in the, in the first video of the videos of the day, that's so why I've got all the energy and yeah, enough energy for the whole world, you know. And then you've only got to have a little thing like that happened back there when I had to go back. I mean, it happened to the hat once when I was going up towards the aerials on the Mendips. I left the hat on the gate. I got up the top near the aerials and realised. So I had to go all the way back. That was another 20 minute. Yeah, God, that was annoying as well. I didn't want to lose the hat, you see. I didn't want to lose a stick. Now, before now, one of my last trips in 2019, it was January 2019. It was all barrenness. I met a family of deer here. Big family of deer. And I came, I came down. You can only really do this in the winter or if it's not too boggy. I came down there. Yeah. A big family of deer. And they all sort of stood in a row on the hill there and said goodbye to me. That was the last time I brought Alberta out. That was a bit, I did extra that day. Something must have said to me, you won't be coming out in the van again. I did an extra bit of walking. And I saw all the deer. And uh, it was beautiful. I haven't seen any, any at all. Today, it was just so unusual not to see one. I mean, you might see them if I go down Bicknall or Coombe. Might do, it might be on the hill. Right then, I'll be turning off again in a minute, folks. I'm just letting you see the sort of terrain. Some of you who follow me have probably mainly seen me coming downwards here with that view. No, I can't see it there. They'd be easier to spot once the bracken dies down, I must admit. 
Over and out.